What must you do to the prophecy God has given about your life? The dream you had. You saw yourself in the major palace. What must you do about that vision? What God spoke to you from a genuine servant of God? What must you do about it? Must you go to sleep? Number one, let's go to some scenarios how to handle prophecy. Number one, a lesson from Paul to Timothy. Paul was a general in the faith. Timothy was a protege. Timothy was a Johnny Jess Camp, a new, I mean a fresher. An apprentice. And Paul was advising Timothy about prophecy. First Timothy 1.18. 1 Timothy 1.18 This charge, say charge is not pampering Timothy It's giving him a command It's giving him an admonition This charge I commit unto thee Son Timothy According to the prophecies Which went before on thee That thou By them Might as what Look into your Bible Might as what War, a good warfare. Look at that. Pastor Timothy, all the prophecies that have been spoken about your life, Timothy, you must war it to pass. Listen, if you don't fight, the prophecy will remain in the sky. If you don't fight, whatever God has said about your life, will never become a reality. If you don't walk, Paul said, war a good warfare about the prophecies that have been spoken over your life. There are powers that will obstruct your destiny. There are spirits that will ensure that you remain at the same level. There are witches from your mother's family. There are wizards from your father's family. Even your neighborhood that will ensure that your prophecy and never become a reality. And so you must fight. You must become a fighter. Tell somebody, fight. Paul said, fight. 